Coaching Center and another topic po natin ngayon is part 2 na po tayo ng fractions. Okay? So, actually, this is very useful for civil service exam review for mathematics here in the Philippines. Okay? Not only for civil service, pwede rin natin magamit ito. Uh, pwede rin natin magamit ito sa iba pang exam, exam sa school or any exam na ating, ang ating pagtikan. So, it, this is continuation po ng uh, fractions na lecture ko po uh, last week nakapag-upload na po ako ng fractions part 1 na lecture. Ngayon this is fractions part 2 naman po tayo. Problem number 1, change 17 over 5 into a mixed number. When we say mixed number po class, itong sinasabi nating mixed number, that is also known as a mixed fraction. Sa ibang book, ginagamit nila na term mixed number, and sa ibang book naman, ang ginagamit nila na term is mixed fraction. Pero by the way, that mixed number and mixed fraction, isa lang po niyan ang ibig sabihin po niyan. So, isa, the same meaning lang po niyan. Ano, ano nga ba meaning ng mixed number or mixed fraction. So, when we say mixed number or mixed fraction, that is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. So, halimbawa, if we have a whole number A, so, whole number A tayo, A, that is whole number A, and then yung proper fraction natin is B over, over C. Okay? Yan po yung whole number, ay uh, yung mixed fraction natin. So, again, ito yung whole number, ito yung pr proper fraction. And when we say proper fraction, dapat yung numerator is less than sa denominator C. Okay. So, let's try sa, sa choices. Or, pero, pwede rin hindi tayo mag-proceed agad sa choices. So, let's try itong given. Itong given na daw to is i-change natin sa mixed number. Now, yung given na to anong tawag sa fraction na to This is what we known as the improper fraction. So, ang isang way is, i-divide po natin siya class. So, we have 17, okay, 17, 17 divided by 5. Raise ko muna, okay, raise po na natin, that is uh, 17, and then i-divide natin by 5. Bakit ganon? Kasi yun po yung nasa given natin. 17 divided by 5. Okay, 17 divided by 5, that is also equals to what? Also equals to this is 3. Kung 3 po yan, so 3 times, 3 times 5, okay? 3 times 5, that is 15 po dyan sa baba ng 17. So that is 15. So 17 minus 15, that is, that is 2. Ayun, may result na tayo. So ito yung whole number, okay? Yan po yung whole number, yung 3. So therefore, that is 3. And then, ito yung numerator, and ito naman yung denominator, yung 5. So, that is 2, 2, 5. Okay? 2, 3, and then 2, 5. And, basis sa choices, that is letter? Ayun, that is letter C. So, the correct answer here is letter C. Okay, next, change to... 7 over 8 into a fraction. Okay, change 2 over uh, 7, to 7 over 8 into a fraction. So, uh, <clears throat> paano gawin po ito class? When we say, when we have a, a mixed number, usually, kung may mixed number tayo, halimbawa, we have uh, A pa rin, A, tapos we have B pa rin, and then we have sa baba C. Anong ginagawa natin para maging fraction siya? This is i-multiply natin dito and then dito i-add natin. So, ibig sabihin po niyan, this will be equals to, to A times C and then plus B yung result. Tapos sa baba, that is still C pa rin. Okay? So, base sa base sa, ano, base sa given 2, 7 over 8, okay? We have a 2 and then 7 tapos sa baba niya that is 8. Okay. So that is equals to 2 then times 8. Okay. 2 times 8 and then plus what? Plus 7. So ang result po niyan over, over 8. So possible answer 
is either what? Is either C or D. Okay? So, ang 2 times 8 natin class, that is 16. Di ba? Plus 7, and that is 23. So, the final answer here is 23 over 8. And that is letter what? Letter, letter C. Okay, so I hope klaro po yung pagkaka-discuss ko sa solution. And again, uh, wag mahiya po if ever may tanong, hanapin nyo lang po ako sa Facebook or sa Messenger, message nyo lang po ako kung aling part sa lecture ko po ang medyo hindi po klaro para naman ma-re-explain ko po sa inyo. So, ang goal ko po kasi dito sa inyo is makatulong po, lalo na yung sa mga nahihirapan talaga po. Okay? So, which answer has three equivalent fractions? So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng equivalent fractions class? When we say equivalent fractions, uh, they are fractions na magkaiba man ang numerator at saka denominator nila, pero same value pa rin sila. Ang ibig ko pong sabihin, gaya ng 1 half and 2 over 4. Take note, yung 1 half at saka 2 over 4, magkaiba, di ba? 1 half and 2 four, magkaibang fraction. Pero, they are both 1 half pa rin because 1 divided by 2, 0.5, 2 divided by 4, that is still 0.5. So, yun po yung ibig sabihin ko. Magkaiba silang itsura ng fraction, but their overall value is the same. Okay. Now, in this case, meron, ibibigay ko yung technique kung paano ba mag-solve ng equivalent fractions. Now, take note, halimbawa, if meron tayong uh, dalawang fractions, A over B and C over D. So, pero pag meron tayong dalawang fractions, A over D, para matest po natin na, na equivalent fraction sila, okay? Para matest po natin na equivalent fraction sila, cross multiply lang po natin ito, and then, at saka, ayan. Okay? Cross multiply lang po natin. So, pag cross multiply natin, we have a result na A times D. Okay? We have a result na A times D, yan po siya, A times D, equals to B over C. So, para matawag natin na, na equivalent fraction sila, dapat AD equals to BC. Okay? Dapat itong AD equals to BC. If they are not equal, then therefore, they are not equivalent fractions. Yun lang po yung technique. So, gaya halimbawa sa problem na to, which, of, which answer has three equivalent fractions? Or, yes, which answer has three equivalent fractions? Let's try, let us try choice letter A. So, syempre, ganun naman talaga yung pagsagot. Unahin muna natin si choice letter A. So, Si choice letter A, hindi po natin masabay lahat. I-buy twos po natin. So, unahin po natin yung first two, 14 over 16 and 28 over 32. And after that, i-cross multiply natin yan. Yung 14 times natin kay 32, yung 16 times natin kay, kay uh, 28. Okay? Times natin kay 28. So, by that, we have 14 times 32 and 14 times 32 equals 16 times 28. And we when we multiply 14 and 32, ang result po niyan is 448. Same case with 16 and 28, ang result niyan is 448. Therefore, base dyan, this is equivalent fraction silang, equivalent fraction si 14 over 16 at saka si 28 over 32. Silang dalawa kay equivalent fraction. How about naman itong si 28 and ito, sa so second si second fraction sa third fraction. So ganun pa rin po class, i i ano po natin cross multiply yan 28 times 48 then 32 times 32 times 42. So ayan po siya, 28 times 48 then 32 times 42. The result is 1344 4, and then equals to 1344. 4. Therefore, that is still equivalent fraction. So, therefore, class, ito equivalent fraction dito and ito equivalent fraction there dito. By transit table, di ba? Therefore, itong third fraction is also equivalent sa first fraction. Pero kung gusto nyo i-check, pwede natin i-check. So, itong 14 over 16 and 42 over 48 Iko cross multiply po din natin. Ayan, cross multiply and then cross multiply. So the result is ayan, 14 times 48 and 16 times 42. 
that is 672 equals to 672. So that is still an equivalent fraction. So therefore, from here, we know that the correct answer here is letter Ayan, letter A. Huwag na po natin itry si B, si C, at saka si D if ever nakuha na po natin yung tinatanong. Kasi yung tinatanong naman dito is yung equivalent fractions. So since nakuha na natin yung equivalent fractions, no need to test si letter A, uh, letter B, C, at saka D. Okay, problem number four, which two fractions are not equivalent? So, same pa rin, related lang po silang dalawa sa problem number three. So, ganun pa rin po yung pag-solve class, cross-multiply natin ito, A times D, then B times B times C. So, by that, <coughs> by that kung pasinin natin sa choice letter A, yung magkaparis po dyan, ayan po, yung sa first and ito sa last, and then yung sa loob, and then sa loob. Base pa rin yan sa ganitong uh, technique. Okay. So, kaya we have we have uh, 1 times 12. Ayan po, 1 times 12, then 4 times 3. Which is base sa na-solve natin, that is 12 equals to 12. Tama? 12 equals to 12 equals to 12. Then therefore, the first, the letter A is an equivalent. Pero ang hinahanap dito is not equivalent fraction. So therefore, letter A is an equivalent fraction. Let's try letter B. So letter B naman class 6 times 10. Ayan po siya 6 times 10. And then 5 times 12. 5 times 12. That is 60 equals to 60. And also that is still equivalent fraction. Next, so letter C 5 times 8 or equals to 2 times 20. Or 2 times 20 equals to 5 times 8. And that is 40 equals 40, that is still equivalent fraction. So, usually, sa actual exam na multiple choice, if nakuha nyo na po na equivalent fraction si A, B, and C, then therefore, automatic na, pwede na natin hindi isolve si letter D. Yun yung technique para mabilis tayo. Para proceed na tayo sa next, uh, equation, uh, next question or problem. But, pero, in order for sa ating discussion and in order for for me to show sa inyo na hindi talaga equivalent sa letter D, same process pa rin yung gawin natin. So, we have we have uh, 3 times 10, dulo to dulo. Yeah, we have here 3 times 10, that is 30. And then 5 times 8, yung sa pa, so loob. So, therefore, that is 30. 3 times 10, that is 30. 5 times 8, that is 40. 30 is not equal to 40. Then, therefore, ito po ay hindi equivalent fraction. So, again, pag sinabi po natin equivalent fractions, two fractions na hindi man sila, hindi man sila same ng value in terms of the, the numbers and numerator and denominator, but they have the same overall value. Okay? So, the correct answer here sa question na which two fractions are not equivalent is letter letter D. Okay? So, yun po siya for problem number 4. Thank you for watching and do not forget to click subscribe and also do not forget to share to others para makatulong naman tayo. Hindi lang po sa nagre-review sa civil service exam kahit sa PhilSat or any form of entrance exam here in the Philippines makakatulong po ito or kahit hindi wala pong exam gusto lang pong ma-review about fractions ito po makatulong po yung lecture ko po ngayon again do not forget to subscribe para naman ma-update po kayo every time magdadagdag ako ng videos and share po din sa iba and then hanapin niyo po ako sa Facebook or Messenger if may requested topics kayo na gusto niyo pong i-discuss okay so i'll do my best na ma-discuss po sa inyo po okay so, before before I end, uh, minsan kung baka hindi nyo maintindihan, medyo sinasanay ko lang po yung sarili ko because I'm an engineer by profession, medyo mataas lang yung, yung uh, expectation ko sa understanding sa mathematics, but I'll try my best na explain na uh, mas simplest way para mapadali yung pag-solve natin Every time, or pag-solve ng problem, lalo na yung mga problem na multiple choice. Question. So, my next topic is Civil Service Exam Math PH Review, Fractions Part 3 na po.
tayo. So, we will go to the operations of fractions and solving the LCM and GCFs of fraction. Again, have a nice day and enjoy studying.